boys. We need to talk. y'all what is good and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions it's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all as you guys can see we got Mamba behind us he's not gone he's still here but we do need to talk about what you guys are about to see in this video so for that like two to three week span of me not uploading I kind of went shopping, okay? The used car market right now is at an all-time high. You can go and get your car appraised, and I guarantee you, if you bought that car within a year or two years ago, you know what I'm saying, and you haven't put that many miles on it, you'll probably see some money back or a good amount on that appraisal. Now, with that being said, I thought, you know what, why not shoot my shot and get Mamba appraised. It is a 2015 2SS, however, it does have over 100,000 miles. Um, and it is slightly modified, but to a dealership standpoint, it's heavily modified. Um, so that also plays a factor. Now, I say, you know what, let's go see what they'll say. So, I started shopping, looking for the car that, you know what I'm saying, I wanted. After countless and countless, countless, countless hours, you do know what I'm saying, finally found one in my price range um, with the transmission I wanted. The color was not what I wanted, but I definitely could make it work. Um, and it looked good. And ironically, it was at the CarMax dealership that I bought good old Mamba from. You dig know what I'm saying? So I was like, what, um, what crazier or what better to do than trade Mamba into the dealership that bought Hazel for an astronomical price um, trade him into the dealership that bought him and you know what I'm saying drive off the lot one year later in another SS except a manual so you know what I'm saying you know put all my chips together and whatnot and on Saturday um, right after work you feel me I took the front lip off as you guys can see it's not on the car I took the front lip off um, I took the wheels off, I put on the stock wheels, I believe, um, and I did something else. And me and my girl, we drove up to CarMax, uh, you know what I'm saying, and we went to go get the car praise. Now, they ended up giving me 18.5 for Mamba, you feel me, which is not bad. I financed the car for 21000 so if you think about it, one year later, over 100,000 miles, um, and heavily modified on bag that's not a bad amount so I say you know what let me go test drive the car see if it runs how it's supposed to run and see if I actually like it so that's what we did all right y'all so on the test drive right now man I cannot cap gearbox is smooth as hell feels good watch this downshift and the downshift a little bit crack the window Why did you down shoot? Why did you down shoot? Let me down shoot. I don't want to watch you down shoot. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, I'll be down shoot. Why not? Thank you. That hoe is smooth as hell. We're going to make one more. Think we got enough time? Holy shit. 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 Holy sh
trucks don't wanna let a nigga, don't wanna let a nigga shine. Don't wanna let a nigga shine. I'm trying to fill this bitch out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, babe? All right, y'all. So here it is. Y'all will have already seen it by now, but this is my first time looking at it. Holy fucking shit, boy! Oh boy, this bitch is beautiful in every facet. Fuck, fuck me. Oh, okay. All right, for sure. Sheesh. 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 Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Mike and uh and Lil Wayne used to work with my dad. Yeah. 17? Yeah. Should have like 23 miles on it. I'm just making sure. Got some imperfections in the paint. Can you grab a stick? Yeah, hell yeah. Five minutes later. Rock chippage. Paint. Let's get in for the first time. Ooh wee. Yes, sir. Get in there. Oh, I got you. Okay, so first start up, y'all. So as you guys can see, we went on the test drive. The car drove phenomenal, I can't lie. Um, the car looked good. The paint needed some help like that, I can't even cap. I guess it's a thing with CarMax, the front bumpers be just trash, just like on Mamba. But anyway, went ahead, came back from the test drive, went inside to do some numbers. Um, of course, I got approved by a good amount of banks. However, the common issue with all of the approvals was that they wanted me to put like 10K down with like an APR of 12.5%, 15%. And it just didn't make sense to me. Why the hell would I go do that when I could keep the car I got, pay that joint off, and then go get that ZL1? At the end of the day, I just didn't see it making sense driving off the lot, paying this much more for a car that really and truly is the same car that I got, just a different transmission and a newer year, newer motor. Um, and then at the end of the day, it's not the, the dream car, the ultimate dream car. At the end of the day, I was just shooting my shot to see if I could get a newer car with less miles, but it just wasn't worth, you know what I'm saying, putting myself in a financial hole. You guys always gotta think about that. That is one thing that I learned in life that is like, so important bro when you're going for something going to go buy something whatever the case may be and you got to finance it bro don't let the excitement um of what you're getting distract you from the you know what i'm saying the dealership trying to pull one over your head or trying to bs you into you know all these stupid dealership fees and, and 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 stuff like that don't get messed over because you're excited about getting something bro i'm saying we always want the stuff to come right now but you never know when you rush yourself into something you know what i'm saying nine times out of ten there's gonna be problems there's gonna be consequences you feel me don't rush yourself into a financial problem bro you feel me that's just one thing that i learned a piece of advice that i'm giving to y'all bro the numbers they didn't make sense and when the numbers don't make sense i walk point blank period at the end of the day i am the consumer they are trying to get me to buy the car. I'm not gonna abide by what they want. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna fall into what they want. We're not gonna go off of their terms when they're trying to sell me the car. I'm the consumer. They gotta make me happy. The numbers gotta make me happy. We're gonna do what I wanna do. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just remember that when buying cars or buying anything, really and truly. Um, 
But yeah, man, that's why we still got Mamba. Don't worry, I got a whole bunch of stuff coming from Mamba, bro. I'm talking cam, everything. I'm about to graduate. Mamba's about to go under the knife. Y'all stay tuned. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And give this video a big like for all you goofies that kept saying I can't drive manual. <laughs> Prime example, your boy can drive anything. Stop capping with me. Oh, one more thing. I also changed my Instagram name. It is no longer J-I underscore productions underscore underscore. It is now J-I productions underscore. There's one other dude who has that name, but he doesn't use any of the accounts. He's also on YouTube and on Instagram, but he doesn't use none of the accounts. Like, bro, just change the name so I can keep it. I need to pattern it. Uh, if you guys know how to pattern the names or whatever, y'all let me know, because I definitely need to do that, because I'm the only J.I. Productions in this joint. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.